USS Nitsa set sail for the Mediterranean Sea this morning. Hundreds of sailors were on board as the guided missile destroyer pulled away from Naval Station Norfolk. Ted on your side, Liz Palka was there and has more on the mission. It's real. <laughs> It's really happening. It's been a year since the USS NHTSA returned from the last deployment. I have four sons, um, the youngest six, 10, 12, 16, so it's kind of tough for them. The destroyer is off again, heading for the sixth fleet area of operations, the Mediterranean Sea. It's tough leaving family, but we know that our nation called us to do a job, and that's what we got to do. The original plan was for the NHTSA to leave at the beginning of the week. A last minute delay meant the crew got Thanksgiving at home. I got a chance to spend Thanksgiving with the family, and that was actually an opportunity that, you know, some people who deployed before us didn't get. Manning officer Captain John Bubb says the crew of nearly 300 will do boardings, searches, anti piracy work, patrol a designated area, and the ship is deploying on its own rather than with a carrier strike group as it has before. As an independent employer, we're certified to deploy with folks and meet up with them, but we're also mainly concerned with being uh, able to operate on our own, do the maritime security operations. As hard as it is to leave family behind, Bub says this deployment is something the crew is ready for. We're looking forward to it, well trained, ready to go, uh, been ready for a while. In Norfolk, Liz Palka, 10 on your side. This is the fourth time the NHTSA has deployed. Last year it was part of the Enterprise Carrier Strike Group.